if you're going to ride out with Matt Eberflus for one more year after this, fine, I guess. Right? Because we've had that discussion before. Because there are positives to look towards. And the NFL is very, very sloppy right now. And I think, like I said, every single week moving forward, if the Bears are not huge underdogs, I don't see a world where every week I can't imagine how they beat a team. Like when we do a, a Minnesota prediction, I I very much could see how the Bears win this game. Is it likely? Probably not, because I'm going to default to the coaching staff failing, the defense failing, but it wouldn't surprise me or it wouldn't shock me. So if you are ready to make that move, and I and I, if you are ready to start going to the next coaching staff, I do not want to develop mental coaching staff. That's the last thing I want at this point. I would like so no to, Ben Johnson. Probably not. I don't. I, ideally, I don't want it. I mean, there's always the one new guy per year that just blows everyone away, and it's always going to happen, and it's every single year, right? And it's usually a guy from the Shanahan tree. It, it was Matt Nagy one year, by the way. It was. But even then, I would say there was a different guy that year that was probably better. You know, it was Brian Dable last year. So, it, it, you know, and it's usually not the flashy guy, but it, it, it's the Mike McDaniel. It's the uh, Kevin Stefanski on the Browns. You know, you don't think of the Browns as like a powerhouse, but like Browns are really, really good. And they've been working with chickens. They've been making some chicken salad out of that. So other than the Mike Tomlins of the world, there's a lot of guys that are sneaky under the radar, good coaching staff hires like uh, Zach Taylor in Cincinnati, right? Like you don't talk much about Zach Taylor, but that's because he's doing his job really well. And usually head coaches that are doing their jobs well and building foundations and stuff. Dan Campbell is flashy and he's fun and he makes a lot of noise and he's big and he's strong. And he gets excited and screams. But the guys I'm thinking of are like the Mike McDaniels of the world, the Zach Taylors, the Kevin Stefanskis. So you can find some stability and start building off of that. But at this point, I mean, Matt Eberflus was the safe choice, right? He was the guy to build your team around and that didn't work out either. So either way, you know, it can bite you and it can be unsuccessful. But in my ideal situation for the next coaching staff, I want somebody who's rock steady and just, I don't even think that the next head coach is the guy to get you over the hump. But I do think you need some very, very stabilizing force for like two to three years moving forward. And then you can get creative. If you are lucky enough to have another shot at a coaching hire, if you're Ryan Poles. See, and I and I think it can change very quickly. I think the next guy could be the guy. I, I don't see that as being unfathomable. I think you have to look at the availability of head coaches in the offseason that you could potentially hire and say, well, are we truly better off with X, Y, and Z or Matt Eberflus? Now, I know Jim Harbaugh is the name that gets brought up a lot. That's the popular one. But um, I'm going to tell you right it, now definitively. I'm going to tell you definitively, and I don't even need to hear anymore. You are definitely better off with Jim Harbaugh than Matt Eberflus. Oh, yeah. 100%. Oh, definitely. Definitely. I don't so even... that's, yeah, that, that is an upgrade in itself for sure. However, um, outside of that, I don't see many very enticing coaches being available that I would be very happy to have here. I mean, you don't know who's going to become available yet. There's still plenty of something left to play. Um, you know, there's plenty of coaches in this league that I would love to have. I would love to have a Mike Rabel. I really would. Um, I, I like Kevin O'Connell from the Vikings, too. I think he does a decent job. You mentioned Mike Tomlin. And Mike Tomlin's not going anywhere. He's a great coach, though. Um, so, yeah, there are guys out there. There are names out there. But the question is, who's going to be available? And... Is that truly worth hitting the reset button again this year? Or are you better off waiting another year because you might have potential better head coaches I, available? I think for the you, sake you know of the goes. players, I think for the sake of the players, you need to hit a reset button as soon as possible. 